Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Here you will find all the available information on when to sell or buy digital coins taking into account all the latest crypto news. But before we jump into the news, let's go through the cryptocurrency rates as of today, the 29th of July. So, <coughs> Bitcoin is now trading at $24,011 and this is uh, a higher price comparing to the previous day, week and month. So, the rise for the past day was 3.67%, for the past week 1.77% and for the past month 20.34%. Is now one thousand seven hundred and twenty three dollars. It's also a higher price, four point forty five percent for the past day, seven point eleven percent for the past week, and fifty five point seventy seven percent for the past month. So, what else? BNB two hundred ninety one. Uh, it's uh. 8.79% more comparing to the previous day, 8.34% higher than the previous week, and 33.49% 3, 3 uh, uh, the rise for the past month. Month. So, as you can see, actually, the, the dynamics of cryptocurrencies is changing and it's changing upwards because they are going up and it means that they are getting stronger. Bitcoin holds $24,000 as USD taps three-week lows on Eurozone inflation report. Estimates for July inflation across the Euro area make for grim reading at 8.9% with the US dollar rebounding. So, Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin saw, uh, saw to pin uh, $24,000 as support before the July 29 Wall Street opens as fresh inflation data sparked worries for the euros. Data from Cointelegraph, Markets Pro and TradingView showed BTC USD maintaining most of its largest and latest gains after spiking to nearly 24 thousand five hundred dollars overnight the day's macro action delivered painful news for the european economic area as the latest estimates for euro inflation came in at 8.9 percent for july still climbing from june's 8.6 percent Binance launches zero-fee Bitcoin trading. To celebrate Binance's 5th anniversary, Binance introduced zero-fee trading for BTC13 spot trading pairs with zero-fee trading. So, there are many pairs, for example, BTC AUD, BTC BIDR, BTC BRL, and many, many others all users will enjoy zero maker and taker fees for all 13 btc spot trading pairs the 13 btc spot trading pairs will be excluded from bnb fee discounts fee rebates or any other form of fee adjustments or fee promotions and binance actually reserves the right to disqualify trades that are deemed to be wash trades or illegally bulk registered accounts as well as trades that display attributes of self-dealing or market manipulation but this is like a disclaimer that actually present during any operations ethereum hits six week high amid addresses in profitability surging so, Ethereum reached highs of $1,770, a scenario has last seen on the 10th of June as more momentum continues trickling into the network. Ethereum had had a big Thursday, soaring about $1,770 for the first time since the 10th of June. This spike was just two days after ETH hinted a big move following its all-time high in address activities breaking over 
one million for the first time in history. El Salvador finance minister says the country's Bitcoin adoption strategy working fine. It's been nearly a year since the Latin America country El Salvador made Bitcoin a legal tender in the country. On Thursday, the 28th of July, the El Salvador finance minister Alejandro Zelaya said that their Bitcoin bet has been working fine enough for the country. He added that Bitcoin helped them bring financial services to a largely unbanked population while simultaneously attracted tourism and investments. However, he added that Bitcoin's use as a means of exchange still remains low. On the other hand, he said that the El Salvador government is still firm on issuing a Bitcoin-backed bond using blockchain technology. In an interview with Bloomberg, Zelaya said, for some, it's something new and something they don't entirely understand, but it's a phenomenon that exists and is gaining ground and will continue to be around in the coming years. And that's what is super hard to disagree with. DeFi cross-chain interoperability protocol Nomad raises $22.4 million from crypto leaders. Crypto investment firm Polychain led the, the, led the round, Crypto.com Capital, Wintermute, Genosis, Elgay, and Polygon participated. Other participants include newcomers, Coinbase Ventures, OpenSea. This financing round will be used to expand Nomad to other blockchains, helping it create a more secure cross-chain bridge encryption ecosystem where different blockchains can communicate more securely and cost-effectively, avoiding hackers such as the $625 million attack on Axie Infinity's Ronin network in March. Crypto firm lost $300 million. Is this the last straw to regulation? The calls for crypto regulation intensify, intensified as reports revealed that Babel Finance lost a huge sum to proprietary trading using customer funds. The Asian crypto platform that recently suspended its withdrawal lost over $280 million. According to a restructuring proposal, the platform lost over 8,000 BTC and 56,000 ETH during June because of market volatility. In a video published yesterday, the chairman of the Security and Exchange Commission, Gary Gansler, talked about the need of regulating crypto exchanges and platforms. The SEC is under a lot of pressure after millions of investors were affected by the series of crypto insolvencies during the bear market. Axie Infinity CEO moved funds to Binance before disclosing Ronin Bridge hack. Axie Infinity CEO Trang Nguyen confirmed that he moved funds to Binance to prevent short sellers from taking advantage of the hack. Axie Infinity CEO and co-founder Trang Nguyen moved $3 million worth of AXS tokens to Binance before disclosing the Ronin Bridge exploit Bloomberg News reported on the 28th of July. Axie Infinity lost over $600 million dollars to North Korea-linked hackers on the 29th of March. Celsius reveals customer data breach by vendor's employee. Celsius has downplayed the extent of the breach, saying its systems and security was not impacted. Embattled crypto lender Celsius Network has revealed via email that some of its customers' data were breached by an employee of customer.io because one of the employees accessed a list of Celsius client email addresses held on their platform and transferred those to a third party. So this is something going crazy around it. So what, what else? They said, we do not consider the incident to uh, present any high risks to our clients whose email addresses may have been affected but are releasing this communication to make sure you are aware. Um, 
I mean, the time will show, but anyway, if you actually are one of their clients, please be careful and watch out. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. I wish you a super, super good day. I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.